We have a, a very friendly evening yes. ahead of us. Well, this whole day is very like friendly, like like I mean like friends. Like friends. Like friends. Yeah. We got a package in the mail today. It has to do with these two pieces of paper right here. The gift is already over there, mm -hmm. but we would just want to show you this. Look at that right there. Both of us will be standing up in Dom and Victoria's wedding next mm -hmm. year. So thank you guys. We love you so much. We can't wait till September to, oh for gosh. this wedding. It's going to be here before any of us know it. Yeah. Wow. And then we're also going tonight. I think we've talked about it some in the vlog, but we're going to see Another Matt's one work Matt's shows. in the musical version of Miracle on 34th Street, which I've never heard before. Mm -mm. So this is one of my favorite Christmas movies. And he designed all the costumes for the show. He did all the, the costumes. So, so we're doing that. But first, we have to go see another set of friends. <laughs> Sean and Caroline and the boardwalk. Everson! Come here. Come here. Thank you. Cool. Nice to see you here. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, too much. These too much. Too much. Too kids. much. They got us advent calendars, which I like literally just said. Like candy advent. Yes. Um, in the vlog while we were in Chicago that I really wanted one. And they've got us a good assortment of Earl Grey tea from their neck of the woods yeah. over across the pond. So we are going to the Wilderness Lodge tomorrow because tomorrow's our 10 year anniversary. 10 year dating anniversary. When and you're so watching this, it'll be our 10 year since I asked Sarah <laughs> to be my girlfriend. So we are going to bring it all in, eat it all in one day. No, we're not. We're bringing some of it, most of it. We ran into Tom and Sean so quickly that we forgot to show any of this. Well, I know. It's did you did you send some or did you film some of it when you were here the last time? The trees were up, but not the but gingerbread. Not the mm. That is legit. Warm drinking chocolate is what it's called. It's not even cold hot chocolate. Look at that. Wow. Hey. Wow. That's the one Sean was talking about. So cool. Aww. Cute boxes all wrapped up. Mm. Oh yeah, they do actual gingerbread buildings. Well, you, look at them inside. But you didn't know Mickey was the actual baker of all this good stuff. <laughs> is it really on the building? Like, is it yeah. really outside? Mm -hmm. No. Put a comment down below if you miss ridiculously obvious things like that, because I miss them all the time. Is that supposed to be Seabreeze Point? I believe so, mm -hmm. so I can see your parents now, and little Christina. They're a little nervous, like... <laughs> Wearing your pins. I wish we had that copy with us so we could put it in. I know we've mentioned it before, but my parents got their vows renewed at Seabreeze Point at the boardwalk, and we have the footage of the actual wedding, and we have it on DVD. So we're gonna have to show you guys sometime. Chocolate oranges. Mini ones, are those mini? Yes, Ooh. and they're by the slice. And yes, um, oh, this is this for you? That was supposed, okay. to, supposed to be for me. Um, we are eating this in the lobby. We haven't even left the resort yet, so. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Carolyn. These dogfish, catfish. The ornaments here are so eclectic. We'll be back. Just a quick visit. Four. Four wires. Wow. Four wires up there. There's gonna be carts up there. This is the Skyway. Look at, and I'm wondering, curious of why all this is like marked off. Mm -hmm. like, look, you can't see, there's not allowing cars to park here if that was for installation. Or if they're scared, they're gonna mm -hmm. snap on the car. We're at the gas station now. Peter's out there getting gas. We realize it's 45 minutes away. And it starts in 45 minutes. We gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna do like a race sequence to get there. We got 11 minutes to spare. And we are turning in now. We made it officially. Well, we got to turn would, If we would only turn. Do you think it'll ever go green? It's just a yellow flasher. 
Um, I'm okay with it if it doesn't go green if the people in front of us are uh, aggressive. Oh, we're just trying to find a parking spot. Oh my God, look at the shadow of this thing. There we go. It's a sold out show. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. Because there's kids. I don't know if there's multiple kids because Susan is obviously child, one of the main characters. Kids, Christmas, it's a crowd pleaser. Yeah, it's a crowd pleaser. So I guess you could say there's no parking nowhere. Right. Just kidding, found some. All righty, we'll see you after the show. We're home. And we have like spooky ha <laughs> Halloween storytelling lights because we're gonna do a quick like food haul of what all the gifts that our friends gave us before we go to bed. Yeah. But we have to get up early. The first thing that we needed to say how the show was. Show was great execution wise and talent wise. Storyline. Sorry. Stick to the movie. I'm a huge purist to the original. And Santa I, Claus was good and Susan was. Yes, but like the other character storylines, they changed and I wasn't a big fan. So I'm, a, I'm my favorite is the original Miracle on 34th Street, but I like the newer one with Matilda. But the first is the is like the best. That. I don't like um, the guy in it. He's but, the, he plays a creepy guy in another uh, movie. So yeah, but that's why. I, there's so many shadows on my face. Um, to the treats. But yeah, let's go to the treats. The musical was done well. I just don't like the adaptation. But first things we got were advent calendars because we were just it's saying. Just said in the vlog, and they got us them. So what day is it? Tomorrow's the first day. Tomorrow's the first. Oh my god, and so tomorrow we'll get to sing <laughs> the, the remix. Dan's remix to Food and Wine from last year. From Ears to Disney. So we'll put the link up here or just put in that clip. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate time, chocolate time. It's my chocolate time. My chocolate time. Look, <laughs> you, that sounds a lot like Peter's Food and Wine, Food and Wine. Everybody loves Food and Wine. Great minds think alike, right? <laughs> That's true. But it goes, chocolate time, chocolate time. It's, it's my chocolate, chocolate time. time. But thankfully, we each have our own. Yeah, no sharing. We got a lot of stuff okay. from Sean and Are we going to go through all Yeah, we're going to do all of it. Gingerbread and matchmakers. We're not going to taste it right now. As you can see, we've already opened that up and done some These damage. These are actual individual slices. Orange flavored chocolate. Chocolate oranges are like one of my delicacies when it comes to Christmas time. Also got some stuff from the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio tour. So this is like this whole guide, this official guide. So they gave us these prefix pins, magnet, a cool little postcard, and then they also got us the Disneyland Paris guide map. Guide map. And then this like little um, headband to help when I'm like doing my makeup. A beautiful card. These like roses, it literally says scrumptious on here. Roses, a scrumptious bunch of chocolate. Mm. These are like mixers and hot chocolates. Get them all delicious. We should bring those tomorrow. We have to figure out what we're bringing to yeah. our celebra celebration night. So they gave Peter the Mickey's like 90th Joffrey's blend, Earl Grey tea. From their hometown. Yeah, and this is a like coffee from their home. Which I told, I remember, when we see them on Thursday or Friday, I have to bring. Mm. I'm going to grind some of that up for Caroline. This is bonfire pudding cake. Looks That's cool. coming with us to Wilderness Lodge. For sure. And oozy eyes. <laughs> it's chocolate. Oh, British cocoa grower. No, I don't care what shape it's in. That is a really cool yeah. container over there. Of it's like all old-fashioned classic candies, sweets. sweets, mostly licorice. I wish you could smell them, and I'm not gonna be able to get them. Oh, smell o' vision. Dim dabs. Ooh, smell o' vision. <gasps> I have flowers on this. It's a whole it's thing. Packed. Um, Tom made a funny joke and was like, approximately how long is this all gonna last? Shrimps and bananas. Oh, I'm gonna eat that up right now. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do tasting on that right now. Okay. But Tom was like, um, how long is this gonna last? I was like, well, since we're going to Wilderness Lodge, we're not gonna bring all of it there, so it'll at least, at least last until Monday. At least. Yeah, it'll probably be all gone by Tuesday. I hope so. we're on. We're back at it. But it's free. It's gifts. 
We can still we can't be rude to our, our friends. We're and still gonna eat it all. We could just do it in a time. And the most beautiful Christmas card I've ever seen. It's parsley. That looks like me. Wait. Definitely. That looks like you. And that looks like me. <laughs> Ooh, open up the shrimp and bananas. We've opened up the container. That doesn't look... Oh, it does look like a shrimp. <laughs> I tried a banana. This will wear consistency. I kind of like it a lot. It tastes like shrimp. Can I try a banana? Why are shrimps and bananas together? Yeah, put a comment down below if you know why it's shrimps and bananas together. They both taste the exact same. You don't like it? Um, I like them now. I didn't like them the first time I bit into it because it was like a moist, soft, um, those hearts. Like? Those mm. hearts from Valentine's Day. Like but the hard ones. Heart? Yeah, but these were soft versions. It's straight up a shrimp. I really like these. The consistency I need to get over. Once I get over the consistency, I love them. Remember the I like a candy that mm. challenges the social norms. Yes. Um, but we have to go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. A lot of fun at Wilderness Lodge, but it doesn't... <sighs> a lot of fun, not without a lot of payment. What? I gotta do 16 miles. I'm gonna I have, a, I have two glasses of water on my bedside that I have to chug before I go to bed because my biggest concern when I run, besides eating fried food and red meat the day, day or two before, is not drinking enough water because I can really feel it when I'm on the run. Should you eat a protein bar? I was thinking about that, but I don't know if I should eat one now or if I should like wake up at like 2, eat one, then go back to bed. <laughs> People do that before races. I'm sure they do. They'll wake up, get like prepped and ready because you want to digest it all before the run. I don't know. I'll figure it out right now. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We've been dating 10 years. Wow. When you're watching this. I'm a lucky man. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.